Hello, welcome back to part two of Port and Bill. It is very windy at the moment here, so I don't know how much the, well the audio is going to come out. But uh, we're here at Port and Bill Lighthouse at the head of the headland. We're just waiting for the others to gather because a few got stuck on a couple of those really steep hills. There was one <laughs> ridiculous hill. When I plotted this route, I thought it was all flat. But anyway, we've got to get back to Glastonbury, 100k, which will be 200k for our ride today, 120 miles. And I think overall it was about 2,000 meters of climbing. So it's not particularly lumpy, but as I haven't done that distance for a long time, it could be challenging, but I feel good at the moment. So fingers crossed that we all make it home okay. There is always the option of the train Weymouth. <laughs> What are you doing, Dale? I'm trying to get a good picture. Take a nap. Not, not doing some yoga. Ah, I it. Uh, you trying to, trying to get the lighthouse in the background? Uh, there. there she is. Sure. You found that easy, Mark? It was uh, nice, lovely, but um, oh, I'm not very good you know, it's like our gravel ride. It's nowhere near, is it? <laughs> a long ride. Well, we didn't get lost today, did we? Yeah. Enjoy that, Will? Yeah. My legs are going to freak when they realise they're going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't tell them. Just don't tell them. It's just a small matter now of getting back 100 kilometers and there are a few hills just to get back off of Portland Bill. So uh, it could be interesting. <laughs> but um, on the positive side, it's only 40k to the cafe. <laughs> Why are you always on the floor? <laughs> I'm committed. <laughs> well, Kev's got his superhero pose. <laughs> I think we spoke too soon. I bet Ian's doing a rain dance back now whilst he's watching the video. <laughs> it's done now, yeah. Right, we're outside of boarding kennel, so we're upsetting the dogs. But we're on the Jurassic Coast Road from Weymouth that goes all the way along the south coast. We're on there for a little bit before we turn off towards Portisham. We've got a couple of official climbs, Portisham being one. The cafe is at Portisham. I'm not sure whether it's before or after the climb. Um, the big question is, will the cafe still be open when we get there? Because we are running a bit behind schedule. It is currently 20 past three. Um, we were expecting to be back by seven. I think it's gonna be near at eight. So it's going to be a long day out on the bike. <laughs> According to my um, wahoo, we've done 1,500 meters of climbing of 1,800. So it must be flat all the way home. Yeah. Good, because that was brutal. <laughs> that was so much fun. Today, well, the, the downhills are all right. The uphills weren't so much fun. <laughs> we've made it with half hour to spare, Dal. Excellent. Is so that, that was 40 good timing. kilometers? Well, it must be. Bloody hell. I, I don't know. <laughs> I might have to have a look, but that seemed quite quick. I'm impressed. Yes, that came out really quick, so we're at the duck farm shop. Uh, time for some refreshments. This is our last stop before home. So uh, hopefully they've got something nice for us. Got an ache inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. Oh, can I see you late? Just, we've still got 70k to go home, apparently. This is only 120k in. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a challenging ride. <laughs> We might struggle a bit in the last stages. It better get flatter. We've done most of the climbing, surely. Well, got, the, the route says that we've done most of the climbing, <laughs> but I'm a bit sceptical because we've, we've only done, we've probably done about two thirds of the route. Yeah. <laughs> and it says we've done most of the climbing, but we've got two big climbs to do yet. So yeah. It doesn't really add up. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, quick splash and dash. We're now not that far away from the Portisham climb, which is an official climb. Uh, I think it's one of the southwest ones rather than a, a numbered one, but uh, it'd be interesting. There's a few of them feeling their legs already, and we've got a long way to go. Like an ocean with a wind, not a single grain of sun, I'm drifting on it. So cold and warm, when you hold me, when you close, I know.
Hey, did you enjoy that road? That was a bit special, wasn't it? Best ever. Absolutely yeah. Fabulous. Great, wasn't it, Charles? I can see if you go back uh, and do that again. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. What the first bit? That sort of helps the tide limbs. Yeah, I'll do that good job, yeah. So, Dean reckons we're a mile and a half from the uh, the next climb. <laughs> Del's face. <laughs> But that, that will be the last climb. It's got to be down all the way home then, because we've done the climbing. Six or seven, according to my record. Six or seven what left? Climbs. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> That'll be number six. Six or seven. But nobody looks keen to start going. My battery's dying, so that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> as long as it's not your batteries in your bike. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you going to power your motor if you run out of battery? Yeah, hang on a minute. <laughs> there you go, keep going. Right, so Portion climb was nothing special. It might have been official climb, but it was a main road. It was too busy. It wasn't that pretty. But that road from the top of there to here was something else. That was uh, some stunning scenery. We can actually see the sea, but it'd be too far away to spot on this camera. Um, so now we're heading up the climb, and it, it does look a bit picturesque into the valley up there. So I'm hoping this would be a better climb. Just make it look easy. Uh, purely for you, Dean. What's not to like, eh? <laughs> One in four. So you wanted a word, Justin? Well, yeah, I don't, that wasn't very kind, putting a hill like that in it. Well, I'm at 93 miles. <laughs> One in four hill which was really skiddy and slippy, wasn't really what I needed. That was uh, Simon Warren's special, that was, with uh, proper steep and difficult. My head <laughs> that one was uh, called White Way. Um, yeah, don't go that way. You had another little spurt at the end, you just want to get to the top first, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, did. I celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> right, I got a song for you today. We've got 10 Mendip cyclists about to hit the wall. 10 Mendip cyclists about to hit the wall. And if one Mendip cyclist should accidentally bonk. <laughs> there'll be nine Mendip cyclists if that's very negative. No, the, there'll be nine very relieved Mendip cyclists hoping it's not them that's next. <laughs> Right, so this is Nigel, who uh, asked me a question earlier on. You asked me who my personal cameraman was that filmed me as we were going along. Absolutely. Yeah, well, it's Ian. Yeah. It's <laughs> Ian's the 360 camera. Hello, Ian. <laughs> so uh, that's how we get all those shots. Nice it's not, not as magic when you see it in real no, life, is it? <laughs> I'm less impressed now, but, but yeah, the, the output is great. Yeah, but the good news is I just ticked over 160 kilometers, so I've done the 100 miles. So we've got 20 miles to go. So we're just uh, looking for a Coke now. I think we're all craving a can of Coke. Yeah, a can of Coke. A can of Coke would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. I've been dreaming of a can of Coke for the last 20 miles, Mark. You're completely out as well. Very unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> we need to find some juice. Oh, well, it's weather, Pete. Sorry? It's weather. Oh. If you were here now, you'd be uh, regretting Ian, it, innit? Eat your heart out. You <laughs> have missed a cracker of a day, sir. And we've now stopped next time. for an emergency Coke and a bit of, <laughs> bit of sustenance. You need that then, Dean? Yeah, yeah. My, um, <laughs> my stomach has been rumbling <laughs> for too long. And I was like, it's going to bonk at some point if we, we, don't, uh, we don't find somewhere. I've been craving that can of Coke for so long and it is a million dollars, it really is. <laughs> Just the sugar in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> bit of sugar, a bit of salt. Nice. Right, so we're back on the move. We have 16K or just 10 miles left. It is currently seven o'clock, so we haven't done too bad. We predicted to be home at seven uh, with a puncture stop and that extra stop there. We haven't done too bad. We're only half hour away maybe.
Right, so the ingredients for a good ride. It's great company, great route, and a great day out. So I hope you've had all three of those. And uh, not one bonk, so everybody's still feeling uh, pretty good. Apart from the dog, he doesn't like us here. We've upset a few dogs today. All right, so we just got a little bit to go. So far we've done 190 kilometers, 2,404 meters of climbing, and probably about 11 to 12 hours. I don't know what the time is now. It's, yeah, it's 20 to eight. So we started at eight. It's now nearly eight. Right, so as ever, the link to my Strava is in my description. If you go on View Group, give all these guys kudos because they've done an amazing job today. Uh, in fact, I think Kev and Justin are doing 230 kilometers in all because they've got to go back home. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next week, I think, maybe sometime in the week. I don't know. See you soon. But I don't know how we're going to top this one because this one was awesome. Yeah. And also don't forget to send in your intros. Um, I don't know what to say. That's been one epic day out. One long day, nearly 12 hours. Uh, and where I was in Porlock about three weeks ago when I was a zero out of 10, I actually feel about an eight out of 10 at the moment, which is just amazing. Probably the fitness from that ride has helped me out today. But we will see you very, very soon.